everyone and welcome to this lecture of strength of material. Today we are going to cover a small but important concept that is bar of uniform strength. The uniform strength means if the stress is constant along the length of the structure and particularly we are talking about bar, the stress is constant along the length. For example, if I am having this horizontal bar and I am applying load W at both the ends of this bar. What will be the stress value within the bar at any cross section? The cross section area is constant. So for any cross section, your stress will be what? Your stress will be constant and that will be W by A. So I can say that in the current state, this bar is a uniform strength bar because stress value is constant throughout the length. On the other end, if I am having a tapered bar and again I am applying the load W, Will you be able to say that the bar will have the same stress at all the cross section? No. As the cross section area is changing, the stress is also a function of length and this is not a bar of uniform strength. On the other hand, if I am having a bar suspended and I am not applying any external force, this is the case where we are having the deformation due to self weight. In case of deformation due to self weight, even though the cross section of the bar is constant, the stress will not be constant. We have seen it in our previous session that the force is zero at the free end and the force is maximum at the fixed end. Therefore, the stress will also zero here and stress is maximum here. It indicates that this bar is not a uniform strength bar, the stress is varying when we are moving from free end to the fixed end. When we see the change in length formula for this bar, the formula may be written as WL by 2AE where W is the weight. We can also write this formula by replacing the W by rho A L and G. So this formula will become rho A G L square divided by 2AE. If I will cancel the A, my formula will become rho G L square by 2E. I can also replace this rho G by putting the weight density. Suppose gamma is my weight density defined by rho G. So this formula will become gamma, is, gamma L square divided by 2E. Lastly, I can also write this formula in terms of mass per unit length. Let's lambda dis, define the mass per unit length or I can write it as rho into cross section area. So this formula will become lambda g l square divided by 2 a e and all these formulas are important for the exam because sometime these formula may ask directly in this form. So please try to remember these four formulas. If you will carefully observe First and the last formula is having cross section area. That means I can say that the change in length is inversely proportional to cross section area. But these two formula indicate that the change in length is independent of the cross section area. Now what is your opinion? Whether the cross section area has important role in change in the length due to self weight or it is independent. Please remember that the extension due to self weight doesn't have any effect by the cross section area. So the change in length is independent of the cross section area. How I am saying so? If you are having two bars of cross section area A and 2A made by of same material, so same density, same elastic constant, you can cross check by putting this value in any of the form. It will del L, so the second bar will also have the change in length as del L. So this is, an, this is an important concept that the change in length is independent of the cross section area. Let's come back here. As we said that the stress will not be constant in this bar. As we will move from the tip to the root, the stress will vary. So using this concept, we can design a bar which will have constant stress throughout the length. And how it is possible? If I will change the cross section area of this bar. If I will decide a cross section area which will give constant stress throughout the length, I can say that this would be my bar of uniform strength. So this is our target today that we have to derive the formula or the relation for the cross section of the bar 
which is having uniform strength so consider a bar which is having uniform strength means the stress will be constant throughout the length and let's consider a small section of thickness del x here at a distance x and here x is equal to 0 and here x is equal to l this derivation is important for your semester examination but for the gate examination there are two three conclusion which are really important one is the formula and the second one is the nature of this curve we'll see this so let's consider the free body diagram of this small element the top surface area may be defined as a plus da because this is let's a1 and a2 and a2 is greater than a1 so area at the top will be larger than the bottom side so let's say this is a x and a dx bottom side area will be let's a x as we know that this is a bar of uniform strength the stress value at the top and bottom side will be same as sigma so if i will write the force in the bottom side the force will become area into the stress so it will be sigma ax similarly the force acting in the upward direction will become sigma ax plus dax in addition to that there will be weight of this bar which is acting in the downward sign and that will be what the mass of a small element into the gravitational constant so i know that dm can be written as density cross section area and dx so when i will balance the force in the vertical direction my equation will become upward force as sigma ax plus dax and the downward force will be rho a dx g plus sigma ax when i will rearrange these terms some terms will cancel out and finally i will get 1 by ax into dax is going to be balanced by rho g by sigma dx this is for this small section of length dx so i can integrate this term from a1 to a2 and 0 to l finally i will get a formula log a2 by a1 is equal to rho g l by sigma if i will take the anti log the ratio a2 by a1 becomes e to the power rho g l by sigma and this is your formula for exams you have to remember this formula it represents that the curve for getting a beam of uniform strength is an exponential curve so we get that this curve will be an exponential curve and the ratio between the bottom and the tip area is defined as rho g l by sigma so this is all about the bar of uniform strength we have learned today that in case of the extension due to self weight the extension is independent of the cross section area then we saw that if we want to make a bar of uniform strength the stress should be constant throughout the length and the bar will have an exponential variation in the cross section area the takeaway of the today's session is these three important concepts for the exam however for the semester exam all these derivations are important so good day and thank you